Welcome back to another basic game maker studio tutorial and what I wanted to show you today it's kind of I guess very important it's ricocheting because I guess this is the more technical term or bouncing this is the easier term so for objects so they kind of bounce correctly but therefore you need to understand well the principle behind it and this is well how you can actually do that and then with a little experimental version so if you have a better one drop me a comment here so maybe you definitely have a better one which is kind of easy to implement as well so if you want to know that in game maker studio stay tuned this is one up indie i am the developer of the indie game clunky souls and a programmer slash pixel artist so if you're new here then you want more consider subscribing to my channel because i try to upload every day a video and share my stuff because this is how you keep youtube happy and then you keep actually me happy because then i actually grow so let's get right into the good stuff and we do a little illustration because this is the, the basics so you are having degrees so the image angle starts with zero which is going to the right then you're going up 90 uh, 180 left and 270 downwards and of course 0 or 360 and you got a full circle and let's say for example you're having a ball projectile uh, whatever arrow and then it's flying in this and let's say for example it has 50, 45 degrees and then you have a collision and then you want it to go and bounce correctly off and then that would be 135 so what you always need to add is 90 degrees plus and this is how it actually works so this is the idea and then the code is basically just checking one step in advance so not from our current exposition so this would be this here but let's say somewhere in between and then it's always checking hey are we having in one step in advance a collision if yes then we well do plus plus 90 to our direction because the direction is the speed where we are flying to so let's get into the code so just so you understand how it actually works um i have a hero player whatever it's calling a bullet uh, it's creating a bullet by pressing a button this is uh, just for you to understand the circumstances then i give it a direction and speed bam we are pretty much done because this these are just those two pass in um, things which you need to know and understand of course here yeah, a lot of things but this is nothing you need to actually worry about this is just additional stuff from another tutorial so don't get confused here and then i create a script of course you can put it into the step event if you like but i call it just do a script save it as here as bounce and then of course then you can use the script for multiple purposes and then you just are not locked to this only bullet here and once again what i'm doing so here first of all i'm doing a horizontal check so what does horizontal check mean well let's go to my beautiful painting here and then horizontal check just means we're just going x and x and x and x near to the wall and once we are hitting this is the horizontal check we're saying hey time to bounce this is the horizontal check and therefore i just say hey go with our current x position plus length steer x with our speed and the direction and this thing is just returning value and then we have kind of a projection from our current position plus an additional one um, with our thing with our um, well direction and speed of course you, you don't have to have plus one this is just for me so i have a little buffer not really needed and then it's just hey, saying hey are we having a place meeting this is just basically a collision with something which is this a wall of mine so the wall is just those green things good or standard and then you're just saying hey update my direction if we're having a collision and then just go plus 90 and this is the same what we do on a vertical level so once again go to the beautiful picture which i did here uh, so let's say we are going upwards with our y position y y y and then at some point bam we have a collision time to bounce this is what i do y plus length dear y again speed and our direction with our object wall and then well 
we go plus 90 here i just did it a little bit with a random but don't really matter here and then well this is how it works and this is all the magic this is how everything kind of uh, plays in so let's zoom in shoot because he shoots at uh, all degrees and then as you can see they bounce correctly sometimes they can get stuck which i don't really like so they can like get stuck in the loop like here bam 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 but most of the time it pretty works pretty fine but what can you do maybe you want to have it a little bit more and let's say random and then you just go random range and then you depending how much randomness you want you just have a value between let's say plus 90 and and 90 and lower um and then well this is what you can have so let's say 85 well, let's go up for 70 make it a little bit harder so 20 more uh, and then we have for example values like this so for example we can change that and then we get some randomness so maybe it appears better but if you want it to have too precise just go for 90 then it definitely works so bam 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 and it does work and of course sometimes they can get stuck so for example this guy oh no okay if you want to show it <laughs> it doesn't really work sweet uh do i have one yeah no i don't okay never mind sometimes they can get stuck let's say in a thing which is just going around didn't like that therefore i put in on the vertical check not this code but this one and it kind of does work but not always so for example here this has some beautiful uh, side effects that some of them will maybe go out so for example let's have a lot 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 come on one go out please yep this one went out so this is not perfectly working and so better stick to this version here then well you're pretty much safe so if you have a better thing how you can actually achieve this drop me a, a comment because i saw lots of other tutorials and in my opinion they were not quite satisfactory there were some from sean spaulding and they were way too complicated in my opinion um i guess this is the easiest version i could conjure up in this time span so if you have something better Maybe you got definitely a better version, so drop me a like. No, drop me actually a, a, a comment here, so maybe you got something better, or a video link, so I can check it out and apply it. And tomorrow I will do the laser ricocheting, so basically you will having a laser, which you are just, let's go with another color, something like this. This could be cool as well. So, see you then tomorrow. Have a good one. One up indeed.